Go ahead and start by going up to File, and we're going to create a uh, new project, and it's going to be a Java project. And we're going to go ahead and just name this uh, Java DB, and we'll hit uh, Finish on that. And in our new folder, our source folder, we'll create a new package. And this we'll just leave at default for right now. I should call this database. And hit finish. And then we can go ahead and create our main class file. Uh, this I'm just going to call capital M main. And we want this to have the public static void main string args. And we want it to inherit abstract methods. So we'll hit finish on that. And uh, now that you have your uh, structure set up for your actual Java files, we need to go out to our favorite web browser and actually download the uh, MySQL connector. So we'll go ahead and open up Google Chrome or whatever your favorite browser is and go out to uh, mysql.com uh, slash projects slash connectors and that's this right up here it's uh, mysql.com slash product slash connector you should see a page just like this um, and all we're really interested today um, is this jdbc uh, driver for mysql it's the connector slash j uh, go ahead and click the download button and uh, here we're going to go ahead and actually pick uh, platform independent and I'm on Windows, so I'm going to take the zip archive, which is down here, and click download on that. And no thanks, we don't want to make an account or log in. And now that that download has started, uh, this should just take a couple minutes to download here. Uh, once that is downloaded, what we'll do is we'll unzip it to the desktop, uh, but we only care about one file in it. So we'll open up this here. And I'm using WinRAR, but any file zipping system will work. So I'm going to go ahead and open here. And this is the file we care about. It's the MySQL connector dash Java, whatever the version of it is, this might change, dash bin dot, dot uh, jar. And it should be the only jar file in the project. So we're going to select this and go ahead and extract that to our desktop or somewhere where you can find it easily. And close this out. And this is what we just extracted here. Uh, now we can go back into Eclipse because we actually need to tell Eclipse that we're going to be using some information from this library. So we can go to our JRE system library and right click and go to build path. From build path, go to configure build path. Um, by default, it should open with. Um, in the Java build path option and have libraries selected. If it doesn't, uh, come over here and go to Java build and then libraries. Next, we're going to go to add external jars and we're actually going to send it to our desktop or wherever it was you downloaded your um, MySQL connector.jar and we'll select it and hit open and hit OK. And as you can see, it added this reference libraries down here. Um, now that we have that, we can actually go ahead and start coding our connection. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is actually establish a connection with our database. Um, so we need to start with just a few things. Uh, we'll come down here and create a new uh, public static connection. And this is taken from the uh, MySQL reference that we just downloaded, or it will be. And we'll just go ahead and call this one uh, get connection. No arguments. And we need to have a throws declaration here of all the exceptions. And then we'll need to import. And uh, when you're importing this, go ahead and import the second one down that says import connections from the uh, java.sql. And once that's imported, uh, it will give us an error because we need the return statement, which we will right now set uh, return to null. Um, and then we'll, once we have our connection, we'll actually set that. 
The first thing we'll need to start with is a try statement um, because we want to be able to catch any errors that we have. And we need to go ahead and actually define some of our uh, variables of how we're going to connect to said database. Uh, so we're going to create a new string. We're going to call it driver. And we're going to have the string be com.mysql.jdbc. Uh, I'm sorry, b java development. So jdbc. Uh, dot capital D driver and then end our line and on the next line we're going to go ahead and create another string which is our URL or where the database is located over the internet or wherever it may be if you're using your local host you can type in uh, jdbc dot or uh, not dot uh, colon mysql uh, colon slash slash localhost and then um, your port which by default is normally 3306 and then the database name if you're not using your localhost uh, which I am not I can actually change right here where it says localhost with the IP address of the server I'm connecting to Um, and then the port again and the database name. So here we're going to go ahead and connect to uh, test DB. And on the next line, we're going to go ahead and use our username, which I've set up a fake account with the username being hey. And the password equal to my pass. And this will be deleted and removed by the time this video is posted. Uh, then we need to get the class uh, dot for name, and then we're going to use the driver variable that we created up here. This, and we can end our line and go down and actually try to establish our connection using the information we just created. So we're going to go ahead and say uh, connection. And we're going to just name this con for now equals driver manager. And this will be an import you'll have to get. And it will be dot get connection string args. And for your arguments here, you're going to put in first URL, then username, and then password. And end our line. And on the next line, we can go ahead and just uh, put out a simple message just telling us that... Uh, we did get here, it worked so far, and whatever. So we'll say connected, end our line, and now we need, of course, to end our catch statement. So we'll have catch exception as E. And then what we want to do is just, again, do a system.out dot print and then our message which will be e and our line and there we have it now I just need to change exception here to exception singular and then we need to return con now we have two options here we can either return the connection regardless of, uh, of if we successfully connected or not or we can do what I normally do and have uh, a connection or a return statement down here that's null. And directly under here, we will return uh, the connection if it worked. Uh, with that said, we now have what should be a successful connection to our database. So I'll come up here and test that by coming down here and calling our git connection no arguments. And we need to have uh, either throws or try catch. I prefer the throws exception myself. Um, so from there, we can go ahead and run this. And as it comes up, it says the access is denied. And that's because this is um, a fake account. This doesn't, it's not a real account. If this was a real user and password, then we would connect just fine. All right. And in the next video, I will show you how to do a uh, create a tape.